Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Han, I'm a senior product designer, and in today's video, we'll be talking about common questions asked during UX interviews and how to answer them. All right, let's jump right into it. The first question is usually, so tell me about yourself. The reason they're asking about this is really to understand your motivation as a designer. What got you into it and what is your origin story? Another reason why they might want to ask this is to gather your storytelling abilities. Storytelling is an important aspect of being a UX designer, and so that would be a really good page of us. Have your origin designer story ready. Make sure you're practicing this. Make sure you understand your own trajectory into becoming a designer. Talk about what attracted you to UX in the first place. Talk about your motivations, your values, your goals as a designer, and make sure that you are adding personal details to the story as they are relevant to the main narrative. What you would want to avoid doing is to share too personal of a story that isn't relevant to you being an actual designer. So anything from childhood or anything that isn't going to contribute to that story of you becoming a designer or as shaping you as a designer, leave it out. The next most common question is, what is your design process? The reason most companies ask this is because they want to know how it is that you solve problems. They want to know how you tackle the problem, in what sequence, and also if you are experienced enough, usually you have a very nuanced way of telling this, and you might even have a go-to process that is evident in the way that you tell and talk about your process. They also might want to understand how you interact with different people during your design process. So here's a tip on how to answer this question. Share relevant steps from previous projects, again mentioning the different teammates, how you worked with them, what each were responsible for, maybe any conflicts that came up and how you might have mitigated them. This is what you should avoid, is make sure that it is not cookie cutter. Make sure that it is not just imitating the steps of the design thinking process. Make sure that it is a personal process that you yourself have either gone through or you know make it into your own words so that it isn't just spewing out a framework knowledge. Another question that an employer might ask is why insert this company? Why their company? I tend to ask this question a lot. Why Wattpad? At the end of every interview that I've ever conducted. And the reason for this is we're really just vetting your actual interest in the company. Do you care about working at our company? Or are you just resume bombing every company out there and just taking whatever job that you can get first? Obviously, if this is your strategy, that is totally fine. But make sure that you are showing the enthusiasm for each company because ultimately these people will be your coworkers, teammates and the last thing they would want is someone that didn't want to be there in the first place and is only there to really collect a paycheck and not really interested in the company in and of itself. Another reason why employers might want to ask this question is they want to see if you've done your homework. Part of UX design is research and they really want to see if you've practiced what you preach. How to answer this question? Obviously, be genuine, make sure that you've done your homework and bring up relevant news stories, details that might have interested you or piqued your interest about this company. Also, if you can connect it back to your values and goals, the designer. So if this company is working on a particular cause or has partnered up with certain charitable causes that you know are close to you and close to your heart, bring that up because that means that you actually have a little bit of a personal investment in terms of this company and what it's actually doing. What you want to avoid when you're answering this question is not having an answer at all. Make sure you do do your homework before you apply or get an interview at a company. Another common UX interview question is, do you have any questions for us? The reason they're asking is to see if, again, you're doing your homework, if you're practicing critical thinking when it comes to this job. Have you taken the time out to research and really think through the things that are important to you as a designer and making sure that this company is living up to that or can live up to that? Obviously, the questions you ask will depend on you as a designer and what you're looking for in the next company that you're applying to, but making sure that they're not just generic questions would make you stand out as the candidate. So asking questions that are more personal and if you again can connect this back to your values and goals, then it will really cement that idea that you're truly interested genuinely in this company and wanting to work there. I think one of the most important questions to ask especially now that we are sort of post pandemic height of pandemic is what was your response to the pandemic 
Did they, you know, allow their workers to work remote right away? Um, do they have a hybrid work situation? Are they fully remote now? These things are important and are telling of how a company treats its employees, especially in a time of crisis. Another question that is asked commonly in UX interviews is how did you tell me about a time when how did you go about and these types of questions can apply to conflicts, deadlines, juggling multiple priorities and it really is just asking you about your ability to manage stress, manage deadlines, manage workloads. In tech, there are, you know, a million things happening at once, I think, during projects. The reason for these questions is really to ask and see how you've dealt with these situations in the past. Have you dealt with high stress situations and what did you do? Obviously, bringing personal examples is very helpful because you can, again, draw from your own experience, but then also show the employer that Yes, you've dealt with this and this is exactly how you would have dealt with it. How you would want to answer this is really using the STAR method. I've talked about this in another video, I believe a thing, the UX interview, but that's using the STAR framework and that is staying the uh, situation. So what happened? T is what you were tasked with. A is what you uh, did, your action, what you did. And then R is your result. So talking about the situation that you were in, were tasked with what you were told to do or what you needed to do, what you actually did, and then what was the result of your actions. That is a really handy framework to use in your interviews to make sure that you are talking and telling your story in a coherent, easy to follow way. Another question is, what are your three biggest weaknesses or strengths? This question is kind of self-evident. They really wanna ask, if you are self-aware enough to understand where it is that you excel, but then also where you can improve. And so understanding this question, understanding that you should practice for it and have some examples in your back pocket will really set you up for success. How you might want to answer this is, this is where I excel. I think I excel in these different areas and this is why. Or you can say, my first area of improvement is this because of this situation and that was my, and this was my takeaway. So if you can draw it back to personal experiences and actual events, what you don't want to do when you're answering this question is really just drone on about your talents and your expertise. Then going to the flip side, which is your areas of improvement and saying, I don't really have any. That tells me as an interviewer that you are not self-aware, that you haven't really done that look inwards and taken stock of yourself, you know, and what you can bring to the table, but also areas that you feel like you could, you know, use some work on that you could improve on. So make sure that you do have answers prepared, um, as well as any real life events that have happened that have gave you that learning. Those are my most common UX interview questions that I personally use in interviews, as well as experience them on the other side as an interviewee. So I hope this helps you. Let me know down below if you've experienced any of these questions and what your answers would be or have been in the past. If you like videos about UX and design careers, please subscribe for more content. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.